Or just tell me if I if I'm right the way I understood it. That you said that if there's a general consensus, then you're uh, on the on the specifically on the when you're making the point of the beef that you know if there's a general consensus that a lot of people really feel bad about it, they don't like it, then it should be it's bad. Like, okay, so no, okay, let me clarify. Okay, so I think like when killing cows, if it's done without pain, I have no issues with it. Okay, uh, because I care about. And, um, animal suffering and I don't care about their lives because they themselves don't care about their lives okay um, but I, I also would care about cows if their killing would ca cause enough suffering among humans okay so I would want to reduce that suffering so if a lot of humans were suffering and in pain or trauma because cows were being killed then I would be interested in not killing cows for the sake of the humans not for the sake of the cows right this is mm. not about consensus because even if there was a consensus but I could, it was shown that they don't suffer a lot from it I wouldn't care about their consensus to me it's about removing reducing pain not consensus you know what i mean okay okay but uh, uh, how do you measure suffering or pain like well, how do you measure that it's not perfect it's, it, it's not perfect <laughs> but it's the direction that you have to look at right so there are a lot of things so for example as a utilitarian i understand that utility is hard to measure but if you understand that reducing m misery is your goal there are yeah. things that are easier to measure so for example we know they're like oh don't be a utilitarian because there's no way to measure pain like we generally know for example health is better than disease um you know starvation is bad uh, poverty is bad you know freedom is good so but that understanding there are certain things that we know in this direction moving seems to make people happier there are a lot of different measurements for happiness indexes right so we could it's not an easy answer like oh here's how we measure it but there's a lot of studies on to show what makes societies happier and that should i think those studies should really be a guide for what policies to advocate for it's okay. it's a very complicated thing one addition to arpin's point if i may yeah, go uh, on. yeah so uh, when you pointed out about suffering and like it's not about uh, whether the animals suffer or not it's about whether the humans carry i thought i think like it's kind of an argument for like no no maybe... wait did i say with it did i say it's with i didn't say it's not about the animal so it is about the animal it suffering, is it okay? is but it's also about the person like who is yeah no i care about animal suffering i don't care about the animal's life because the animal doesn't suffer from knowing that it's going to die okay uh -huh. I do, yeah, yeah. I do yeah. care about animal suffering a lot. If the animals were capable of being upset that they're about to die, then I would care about that. But yeah, yeah. I, I got your point. Yeah. I got your point yeah. with that. Uh, what I was getting at is like uh, that could it could also be an argument like uh, in, in case of death penalty, like when, when like actually a person killing a person, we uh, sometimes even talk about like the suffering of the person like who is like who is be going to be executed but also who you know fun of fun, like should also be thinking about the person who is carrying out the death penalty like how would he be feeling when he is like uh carrying yeah. all the executions what's what's going yeah, on you, his put, mind? you put all the costs next to each other yeah i'm not i'm not okay as a utilitarian you don't say if there's a cost then don't do it if there's a cost you measure the cost as much as you can and compare it to the benefit and you try to see whether the benefit outweighs the cost or not just yeah. the existence of a cost is not good enough not to do something. The cost has to be greater than the benefit. Yeah. And in the in the case of the death penalty, I, I would use the argument that, that you've used a, a couple of times, Armin, where the the consequences of living in a world where we're comfortable with the government putting its citizens to death for any reason is is a world that leads to just much more suffering it, it just similar to what you said on some other things just the living in a world where it's okay for us to use nukes whenever we feel like it in war leads to so much other terrible things that that it is we shouldn't even you know we should not okay. kind of uh, yeah yeah sorry go ahead no, 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 that's fine. But I just got triggered because of Satya's comments. Satya is saying, Happ happiness index is shit, bro. We can use some other metrics and then look at this. And it says metrics like GDP per capita and freedom and stuff. Isn't well, Satya, the if, that's the part, those are a major part of having, like if you actually look at happiness indexes, these two are a major part of the calculation. So guys, kind of don't trigger, don't trigger Armin at the end of the show. Shelly, you know that? <laughs> what? 
happiness index was uh, co- uh, invented by a pakistani <laughs> just just a trivia oh, that's cool okay. well okay so horace has that right you were you were talking with horace what does pakistan have and and we got yeah, sure trivia. it was we figured I'm, it out. I'm almost i'm sure it was a pakistani that was not living in pakistan you know okay, what armin so <laughs> it was so negative <laughs> I'm just trying to be racist. Okay. <laughs> Let me be. <laughs> okay. What a way to end this show. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.